Okay, with number 16, we have to decide whether to add this sentence to the paragraph. Luckily, it's a short paragraph, um, but this is the case where you're probably going to have your own hunch as to what's right and wrong, and that's okay. You're allowed to have a hunch. The thing is, you need to make sure you read all of the choices and confirm that your hunch is correct with these becauses, the, the other part of the choice besides the yes or no. So here's how I do it. I would just kind of um, read the surrounding sentences, which means read this paragraph, kind of get a feel for what they're saying in the dumbest way possible, and then go from there. So it says, um, luckily the tower survived and its tilt has made it an Italian icon. It attracts visitors from all over who flock to Pisa to see one of the greatest architectural weirdnesses in the world. So that sounds pretty positive to me. They're saying it's a good thing. By the late 20th century, the angle of the tower's tilt had reached an astonishing 5.5 degrees. In 1990, Italy's government closed the tower to visitors and appointed a committee to find a way to save it. Because okay, so they're closing the tower, they need to save it. That sounds bad. So there's a little bit of a transition here. Will this sentence help with that? Unfortunately, the tower's tilt has steadily increased over the centuries, placing the structure in danger of collapse. Well, that's also a negative sentence. So that might fit there. It's not exactly a transition, but it, it seems to fit in with the negative sentence that comes after. So let's look at these, these answers. I don't have a strong feeling here, whether it should be included or not. So I'm going to rely on the becauses here. A, yes, because it provides an important restatement of the main claim in the previous sentence. No, it's not a restatement, right? The first sentence is positive. This is negative. So it's not restating the same thing. It's, it's saying something different. Okay. So choice B, yes, because it establishes an important shift in emphasis in the paragraph's discussion of the tower's tilt. Well, okay. There is definitely a shift. I don't know if this sentence is really great at making it happen, but okay, I wouldn't eliminate this choice. C, no, because it interrupts the paragraph's discussion with irrelevant information. That's a little strong. I don't think it's irrelevant. It's talking about the tilt, right? Uh, the tilt, the next sentence is talking about the tilt. That seems relevant to me. So irrelevant is a very strong word. It would really need to be random for me to want to pick that. It's, it's, cl it's relevant enough. D, no, because it repeats information that is already presented in the first paragraph. Well, I could go back to the first paragraph here. I probably should, but I remember that this is not what's stated here, uh, or that was not in the paragraph. So I feel pretty good about choice B in this case. It's, it's allowing me to move from, hey, this tower is great, to unfortunately, there's a problem that needs to be dealt with. So it makes sense. I don't know that I would write this sentence in here, but that doesn't matter. They're not asking for my opinion. That's why we check the becauses. The becauses make sure that we come back from our opinion and use the reasons provided in the choices. Very important that we test our hunch with those actual choices.